Hey guys, just got a quick video here. So, with uh, my Phantom 2, I noticed that uh, when I'm pirouetting left or right or yawing to the right or left when it's way up in the air, it doesn't spin on a dime. I've seen a couple things on YouTube where they say that uh, your when you when you when you're calibrating the uh, hold on let me let me look it up. Okay, so what the video was saying, I don't know if you can see this here. When you're calibrating the IMU status, they're saying that when that has to, when you're calibrating that, um, that everything has to be nice and level. Um, it kind of makes sense too if when you're doing the. Let me see where it goes. One second. One second. Let me look for it. Okay, scratch that. What well, I was thinking of the uh, when I calibrate the the gyros on the uh, on the gimbal. But anyway, what they're saying is you when you're doing the IMU calibration that you have to have everything really level. So that's what I did. Is basically I got that paper underneath there, this paper underneath here, because my tail is not perfectly. Uh, level so when I move that there and I move it this way right it's level move it this way it's level this way it's level right so now you can uh, grab the quad plug it in fire it up and then set it up so that way they say that uh, once you do the calibration, it uh, when you rotate it, when you're young, left or right in the air, it should do it on a dime. So uh, let me fire this up. Okay, so I realize that I've attached these onto the skid, so I'm gonna, just going to see if I put this here. So it's looking like... I'm still balanced. See him here, still balanced. Over here. Still looking like it's balanced. And over here. All right. Sorry if it's blurry. But I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot of. Uh, more balanced or, and or flat on a flat level than compared to uh, when I initially did it on the table so we're gonna fire this up now okay so we're just gonna plug that in okay so we're plugged in Fire up the software. And we're just going to go to that setting, the IMU setting. I got some tools here, it is. So we're going to go to advanced. We're going to go to advanced calibration. Yes. It's going to take five to ten minutes. Saying the temperature's too hot, blah blah blah, let it go. So uh, we're gonna wait this out and see how it turns out. I've also seen videos where the uh, the people are, some of them are putting them in the fridge because apparently you want the insides of the uh, insides of the uh, quadcopter as cold as possible before the IME uh, sensor starts to heat up. Um, a lot of people do it. Some people say don't suggest it. So. Um, some people will blow a fan. I've I've done it where I blew a fan into it, and then popped the battery in. I have like a fan blowing into the back of it with the battery off, and uh, let it go for you know 10-15 minutes, and then pop the battery in, fire it up, and then start the calibration. For some reason, they want you to want to have it as cold as possible, but uh, you get that warning that it says uh, the thing's too hot, but then you just click go, and uh, Five five minutes later or so, it's uh, it's good to go. So 
I'm not gonna touch the tail because everything's level, so that's what you want. We'll uh, we'll come back when this is when this calibration is done. Okay, so it's looking like it's almost done. So it's calibrating right now so far. So it should be pretty much done soon. I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, what the hell is that thing on the back of your quad? Oh, okay. So now it's done, right? So it's ready. So now I'm going to click here. Basic. We're going to go check IMU status. And it says no need for calibration. So I'll click OK. Just going to check some of my values here. Gains. Yeah, those are my gain settings here. So... Okay, so that's it. That's the calibration for that. So I'm gonna unplug. I'm gonna unplug, turn the software off, and I'm gonna calibrate my uh, gimbal, two-axis gimbal. So we're gonna unplug this, and I'm gonna turn the quad off because I'm done with that. And uh, now I have to unplug the. Uh, the power source oh my quad which is right here just gonna unplug that okay so now I'm gonna plug into here right the uh Right there, right here. So right into the board. And plug that in. Okay, so I'll plug that in. And we're gonna calibrate that. Actually, I'll plug in the other side. So we're going to start the software up. So software is here. It's a uh, simple BGC GUI. Lots of software. You can pause that if you want. So now it's loading up the values. It's reading in the board. And mine's hooked up to COM15, so we're going to go click connect. And we're good. So basically, I want to go here. Calibrate there. So what I want to do is... Uh, that's uh, calibrate the accelerometers. So basically what I want to do is uh, keep this steady. Like this. And then click that. happening when I click calibrate is I'll do the gyro next. See this uh, yellow button there? The yellow light, it flickers really really fast and then when it becomes solid like that the uh, it's the, the yellow one it flickers really fast and then when it's done it, uh, it stops. It becomes solid so we're going to calibrate the gyro now. Click it there, and I'm holding, I'm going to hold it still. So we're going to cover the gyro. Okay, so that's done. So the only other thing that I want to check. Uh, yeah, basically that's it. Oh, the menu button. So there's a button here. 
on my this little white button here. This one here. So this is that basically sets this. So I have it set so that when you click it once, you set the tilt angles by hand. So if I click that once when it's fired up, I can set it this way. If I, I push the button once, if I set it this way, after a couple seconds, it'll stay there. And that's what the default setting will be. Or if I set it like this, that'll be the default setting. If I click it twice, I have it set so that it calibrates the accelerometers. And three clicks, it says to calibrate the gyro. So that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do now is write write that info and it'll say here complete so we're going to go right and current profile successfully written to board and we got a solid light there so we're good that is done so now I'm just going to unplug unplug this So that cover is down, it's gonna plug this back in. Okay, so we're gonna fire this up again. And that sets up. Good. So now what I'm gonna do is that button that I set here for one click and then you set the angles by hand. Um, I like it to have it, I like to have it level and uh, tilt it down just a little bit so I'm going to click it once then it becomes free then you set the angle steady and then within a couple seconds that's it so now it's angled down just a little bit I don't know if you can see that see it's angled down a little bit that actually might be a little bit too much I'm going to do okay that's better so that's it. Yep, everything is good. Take one more time. Okay. So we're all set. That's it. Um. Oh, yeah. You guys are probably thinking, what the hell is that orange shit on the back of your quad? So it's just for visual aid, really. Um. When this thing is way, way up there, um, it's hard to tell what orientation I'm in sometimes. I know a lot of people say you can move your sticks left and right and see which way it's, it's uh, moving, right? So you can go, so you can distinguish your orientation. But, I mean, when you're way up there and you see a stick sticking on the back, well, then you know that's the back. There's no, oh, let me jiggle my stick left and right to see which way it tilts. So... That's the way I have mine set up. That's it. So that's uh, AMU in the quad is uh, calibrated on a nice flat even board, and uh, I calibrated the accelerometer and the gyro on the uh, on the two-axis gimbal. That's it. Hope you liked the video.